Hey everybody, Spartan here from SpartanTrading.com. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some more risk management tips, and specifically in this video, controlling risk by using bracket orders. Now, what is a bracket order? If you guys don't know what a bracket order is, you can just literally Google it, what is a bracket order? But in short, it's when you place an order on a stock, and let's say in this case, we're gonna be buying this equity. It will buy the equity, it can simultaneously set a stop and a sell limit at a higher price. Why would you want to do this? Well, if we can have a stop set simultaneously as we take a buy, then we don't have to worry about controlling risk once we take a position. This is a very beneficial tool to use if you're an options trader in the morning or trading just equities in the morning because there's so much volatility in these stocks or option contracts can move so quick that you may not be able to have time to set that stop. If you're wrong on the position in the morning, typically you will get stopped out right away. So to have this risk controlled right out the gate is a very great tool to be using. Now, using a bracket order, it's gonna be different on everyone's account. On my um, account, this is just Quest Trade. I know um, on uh, Centerpoint or on DOS, it's a little bit different, but on Quest, this is what it looks like when you click the bracket order button. And right there, you can see everything, obviously. I unclicked the profit side because typically I don't like to cap the profit target to the upside. I'll you know decide when the chart is topping or the trend's breaking to actually you know exit the position. In this case, I just want to stop set. So let's say I wanted to buy the stock at you know 44.50 in the morning, and when I bought the stock there, or if I bought the stock there, I would simultaneously want a 50 cent um, stop set. And let's just go with 50 shares here. So in the morning, the market would open up. I would hit my buy on the with the bracket order set up already and then it would execute, or this would come into play. If the price was below it, or if the price was just you know at that area where the ask was underneath this level, then obviously we would get filled. If we would get filled, we would have the position of 44.50 long, 50 shares, our stop would be at 44. We don't have to worry about it if we're wrong, because if we are wrong, we've already agreed to, you know, this is my max loss amount. If it gets stopped out, you know, so be it. Now, the great thing about this is, you know, if you are wrong, and you do get stopped out, it's right away controlled out the gate. So you don't have to worry about, you know, rushing to try and set that stop. And it's, you know, like I said, a great tool to be using, especially if you're an options trader. Options traders, you know, we have to deal with a lot more volatility. And especially in the morning, um, a fantastic tool to use is the same thing, except you want to be using a trailing stop on the option. So buy the option, don't cap the profit. That's, you know, we never really want to do that and you can set a trailing stop. That way, you know, you can buy the contract. If it starts to run, you know, it goes parabolic, whatever. You can make your money, and then if it starts to pull back on you, you get stopped out. Um, you can set a hard stop and a limit sell as well, if that's something that you wanna do, just, you know, kind of going, I'm going three to one risk score on every single trade. I'm gonna try and hit that every single trade, and if it goes more, you know, who cares? Maybe I can just roll into a higher strike or something like that, but um, this is just a fantastic tool to be using to control that risk, so I do recommend um, using something like this. Uh, definitely bracket orders can help you guys in the mornings. It can help you when there's, you know, very volatile stock, like, you know, let's say one of these small low float stocks that are running, you know, SCS when it was running, you know, last week, pushing to the upside, nothing wrong with, you know, taking a buy with a stop set on the bracket or, or trailing stop when it starts to push like this so that, you know, you can lock in part of the game and when it starts to pull back, you would get stopped out in the money and you don't have to worry about um, actually setting that trailing stop because everything executes at the same time. So just a quick little note there on controlling some risk. All right, guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to give me an email, spartan at spartantrading.com or visit our website there, spartantrading.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.